So there's a pastor that was leading some prayer in his congregation. Oh boy, this prayer is much needed here in 2022. Let's review it. In Jesus name, may any hose sent from hell be supernaturally repelled from any husbands. I know that's right, pastor. Uh, hey, I, I agree with that. The 304s is, 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 is out of control, pastor. They out of control. They doing too much. We live in a society where 304s are celebrated. They put on billboards, they put on TV. They're not relegated to the, to the nightclubs where they would normally would be at. Um, you know, the strip clubs they normally be at. No, they, they can go being celebrated, walking the blade. This is society that we living in. We, listen, this, this, this country here is beyond shame. Especially when that freaking OnlyFans came out, everybody going to be in a 304 on now. In Jesus' name, we, we come against hoes in the name of Jesus. That's right. We declare hoes have no place here. In Jesus' name. <laughs> so even the pastor laughing at that. But you know, whoredom, like I said, just to be equal, whored, whoredom is spread out all over the place. You know, you got dudes that's doing it as well. Um, you know, sleeping around with this, that, and the other. Whoredom should be condemned. You know, I don't support whoredom or 304, and I don't support any of it. Um, it doesn't produce anything. Um, you know, a lot of times people are reckless, having children all over the place. Um, you know, when you out here in that life, especially if you're in strip club, walking the blade, etc. even if you're on only fans, it can lead to people stalking you. You know, sometimes you see these simps out here, you're taking their money and then you're going to end up, you know, like Mercedes Moore. you know, when you sit up here playing with these simps too long and think you're going to just take their money. A lot of times these simps have a lot of violent tendencies. So no, I don't support that. I also don't support husbands doing that either. I don't support it. Because even though the 304 is to come at you as a husband, doesn't mean you got to bite. And at the same time, you have to be in areas where those females are at or give off an energy where they can even approach you in that manner. It's just that simple. But the 304 is they really need to go back to the time period where they just in a dark corner and you actually had to go looking for them. I don't really like seeing them on billboards. I don't like seeing them on reality TV. I don't like seeing them in, doing anything. You know, the black China's of the world. Cause that's where she come from. Right. Just giving an example like her, you know, um, many out there who came from that life. And some of you say, well, shouldn't they be to change their life? No, no. Because if you don't create a, a consequence of certain behavior, then other young ladies thinking I can do the same thing. I can go be a 304. Then later I can be on a billboard too. I can make all this money too. You understand what I'm saying? I'm thinking about the younger girls who's looking at them, not the ones that's actually doing it, but the younger ones that want to follow those footsteps. That's it. But at also at the same time, fellas, you know, a lot of you go liking their photos. You go and subscribe to the only fans pages. You're doing a lot of things with them too. So, so I, it's, it's definitely, they're not doing it by themselves. That's an economy that is heavily promoted by simping, giving up billions of dollars a year to support that. You know, I saw this one uh, video, the 304 was talking about her biggest clients are married men, not single men, married men. That's why that pastor was talking about that. But the men got to have some responsibility too. If you really love your wife and love your family, well, you have no desire for three or four. It's just that simple. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the pastor here. You know, we're going to have to use that sound from the pastor and videos from now on. Cause uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pat, pastor had the right prayer. <laughs>